Mm -hmm. Welcome to Jim's Catfishing the Gear. Dad here on Lake Moultrie on my brother's boat. It's Tracker V175, right there? Yeah. 175. We did a video a couple of weeks ago on it. We're on ice fishing boat. We're fishing in an area that I fished earlier this morning. Want to see if afternoon makes a difference from fishing in the morning. Yeah. So I and fished full moon last night, too. Full moon last night. The morning bite wasn't that great. I caught some fish this morning when it got around 11, 11.30, so later. So we just see if coming here a little bit later can get us on a bigger catfish because the ones this morning, none were that big. So we can see if it makes a difference this afternoon. Stay tuned. We just got one hooked up. Yeah, we were, looking, we were looking at the fish finder and all of a sudden I heard it. We're looking to see where we're going because the wind kicked up and kind of put us in a different direction. Fighting. On there? I don't know. I really am. I'm not feeling nothing though. We'll check it either way. David then screwed up again. <laughs> He's on there. He's on there? Yeah, he is. I take that back. <laughs> Yeah, because we're kind of going in a whole different direction than what we were. The, we had no wind and it just really kicked up. That was a pretty good takedown, though. Yeah, it was. Ain't too bad, David. You nah. want to get a link on him? Uh, we can. We can. Might as well. Okay, David. Let's see what kind of link we got. So we kind of keep a track of what we're catching out here. Hey, I'm on his belly. There you go. <laughs> well, he's doing a slip and slide on that thing. There you go. It's going to go about 28. Maybe. About 28 and a quarter. 28, yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty good. You should have let me slide it down after you. Oh, uh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, we slide it down. <laughs> Not too bad, but there are catfish here. They're here. So let's see if we can catch a big one. Yeah. All right, fella. Can I reel it in? Uh, yeah. Just to make sure. Oh, oh, oh. That's a snag. Running like that? It's yours. I thought it was a snag. What you think? This is a snag. It sure ain't uh yeah, it's coming this way. Oddly enough, I was out here fishing in the same spot this morning and uh David wanted to fish. I said, hey, let's go hit it this afternoon. Let's see what the evening bite is out here. I think it's what about 4 35 o'clock david uh, I think so, yeah. so it's not even really that late yet this fish ripped some drag out i thought it was a snag at first. yeah we thought it was because we had one snag up snagged right beside up. it look at there these are uh B and M elites and these rods are medium heavy, but these are a stiffer rod to be a medium heavy. Yeah, I got a snag over here. I think he might be wrapped up on something. Something downfall over here. There's a lot of brush and a lot of debris. I need to turn it. I'm going to give him a little bit of slack. See if he can swim himself off. A couple of snags. I think he come off. Really? Yeah. He was definitely wrapped up in something. Probably looking for cover. Turn this a little bit, David. I know, I'm trying to get this snag out too. Uh, 
Don't worry about that snag, brother. <laughs> He's trying to catch this fish. <laughs> Whoa. Let me show you this rod. This is a B&M Elite. Silver Cat Elite. Like I said, this is on a stiffer side of a medium heavy, but they these rods are cast really far. This guy here's uh he's passing the boat. He's trying to get the cover. It's a lot of stumps and stuff. Let's see if we can get him closer to the boat before he gets hung up in something else. I marked some good fish out here this morning, David, but I don't think I hooked up on nothing like this. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's a good boy. Yep. You got that net, yep. brother? Boy, he's bending his rod. Let me try yeah, to knit him. Yeah, you got enough room? Yeah, let me uh, move some of this out of the way. Wait, just uh, Yeah, if you can get him, hold up. I'm glad you come off that stump. Yeah, not yet. Got him. Nice. Hey, man, that's a big old fish coming <laughs> up on your boat. You heavy? Yeah. No, not really. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you just saw him. You've been working out. Okay, we got him. It's good catfish. I don't got a glove. <laughs> David forgot his glove. He's got some real, real sharp teeth. He's already bucked a couple of times, but. Did you want to put him on the board? Yeah, let's put him on this measuring board. We can send him down again. Hopefully, they don't rip their fingers off. Okay, there he is. That's a pretty good catfish right there. We got this uh, musky bump board. <laughs> so he's going about 39 inches. You can see that pretty close. Yeah. Boop, boop his head, bump his head a little bit, uh -huh. baby. About 38. Good catfish. I caught one this morning. It was 37, but this one has got a lot more girth to him. Okay, David, put it back in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I go grab and put it back in. Hopefully, it'll rip my head off. I, I get the feeling when he hits this water, he's gonna launch. Yeah, I think so. Okay, buddy, be gentle. <laughs> I let him go. <laughs> he started twisting that head. Is it just me? It seems like during spawn, those males catfish teeth seem like they're a little bit bigger, a little bit sharper. Because he had some teeth on him. But anyways, uh, we're going to keep rolling and see if we can get another one. It's your turn, David. Yep, let's do it.